What taught you here, guys? Um, I'm doing this video. Uh, it, it's come to my attention by several people that, you know, some people thought I'd quit doing videos all the way around. Heck, I put out quite a few videos just in the last month. Um, and But they're not getting them. Uh, there are other people telling me that uh, they've got to go in and resub to my channel, and they still won't get my videos. Um, my son even tells me he gets about one out of every five or six videos I do. He gets notified on about one of them, and then he ends up having to go find my channel and see if I've got anything else going on. But uh, my video, or my channel started back in 2015, and I started off by doing... Um, cop watches uh you know I'd, if a cop had somebody pulled over i'd stop and videotape it um if they were like they was in a motel once if they were looking for druggies or something and i went in and taped all that they're all on my channel uh i taped uh state troopers down in alabama and and, and got into it with uh, an unconstitutional sheriff down there uh, these videos were what i started with and for, shoot, four years, I didn't have but maybe 32 subs. But I really wasn't doing videos a lot. It just when I did them, I put them on. I uh, also uh, video um, a fire department down in Alabama doing a controlled burn on a house, giving um, these trainee fire department guys tra uh, training, you know. But So I did things like that. Well... It got, I decided to kind of switch it up instead of trying to watch the watchers, I guess you'd call it, or watch the cops or watch the government. I decided to just start researching them and putting out the facts that I find uh, on the things I research. And I can't remember exactly what video I, I did, but all of a sudden my subs just started rolling man i went 32 to 50 like boom in a couple of hours and then i went it jumped to 150 and then 250 and in about a month's time i went from 32 views all the way up to 1020 uh, that was as far as youtube let me go once i went over the thousand mark uh, I think that's when they started paying attention to my videos and then started blocking them. Um, I, and I know they're doing that. Why? Why? I mean, you got to ask yourself, why, people? I always say this. Why would YouTube do that with me? A little channel that for four years I had 32 subs, 34 subs or something like that for four years. Then all of a sudden, boom, in almost one month, I jump up to almost a 1,000 subs more than that. Um, why do you think that YouTube would want to shut me down? And it's, people, it's, you know exactly why. Because if I was just rambling on, I was just a conspiracy nut that none of the shit I was saying made any sense, none of it, there was any facts backing any of it. Um, I had my little channel on YouTube that less than uh, 1,100 people were viewing, uh, were subs to. Why would YouTube want to shut that down? Well, the thing of it is, it's I grew so fast, so quickly. A thousand subs in almost a month, people, that's that's a pretty big growth. And if that was to, to have continued, instead of me being a little channel of a thousand or less, I probably would have had a channel the size of, uh, you know, two or three hundred thousand people at this by this time. Because this was over, well over a year ago that my channel jumped. But, um, 
that's why they wanted to put a stop to my channel. It's, uh, I, people were listening to what I said and I was, I mean, they were sharing, I, I, like I tell everybody, anything on my channel you want to use, even people that I've had that did nothing but make me look like a freaking idiot. I told them do it because there'll be people that I'll be saying something and they'll want to know what the real truth is that what I, what I was talking about. I had one guy that did this. He was over in Europe somewhere and he was using my videos and making me look like an idiot. I told him use all, do it with all my videos, give it to all of his subs, send them out to everybody he knows. And he quit. He did one or two, and then he quit. It was no longer interesting to him because he couldn't make me mad over it. But, uh, you know, uh, there's something um, I also want to talk about. I just want to talk about my channel. You know, it, it, I don't think it's going to be long. Um, probably not long, either before or or after this election, I believe they're going to shut down a lot of social media. Now, we won't even be told about it until after it starts. And then we'll all be going, well, what's going on? What, what, you know, what happened? And then they'll come out and tell us what happened. But uh, this is something uh, I really want to talk to you people about. Now, I've heard different uh, amounts on this. But uh, I've been told that anywhere from, oh, let's say $32 million up to as much as $52 million a day, NASA gets from just the American taxpayers. Now, we're going to hit it. We'll just start low. We'll hit it at the $32 million. Do you guys realize that that's $1.2 billion dollars a month NASA gets from us. That's a lot of damn money, man. A lot of damn money for what? And for what? Because they're not going to the moon. They're not going to Mars. They're not even doing anything in space, people, because space don't exist. But let's say, let's say they can go to space and that they've been to the moon. What in the hell have they done since, let's just continue with their lives and go back to since they shut down using the space shuttles. They ain't done shit, people, except take your money. And if you don't think $1.2 billion a month is enough money to throw so much shit at the American people that they wouldn't know which way's up as far as the truth goes, then I don't know what to th say about that, people. Nathan Oakley and the Flat Earth Debate. This is I, one of those call or times that I'm going to give a channel their props. And, uh... Nathan Oakley and the Flat Earth Debate. If you haven't fuck, if you haven't heard or seen anything about this, you need to go there, start listening to their discussions. They do two shows a day. Any globe earther, any flat earther, anybody that wants to go in there and discuss it is allowed in. Uh, you can even get on on the show with them if that's what you want to do. But they they're not going to play with you. When you say gravity exists, you're going to have to show them the facts, the proof, the experiments, the scientific method where it was used in order to prove gravity, and you can't do it. If you're going to prove curvature, you're going to have to use the same thing. You're not going to fill these guys up with a bunch of theories, hearsay, made-up, Narnia bullshit. They're not going to put up with it. Uh, the stuff, uh, this is where I get a lot of my stuff about Flat Earth and the facts. And they are the ones that have proven to everybody that you cannot have a vacuum of space above our gas pressurized atmosphere or we would not have an atmosphere. 
and globe earthers can't even can't even put up a good argument that the the Nathan Oakley is they're they've gotten to the point for a while they stuck with just several uh, subjects and that was it on globe earth because those were the subjects they knew well they're starting to expand their education on this and they are attacking globe earthers from every angle and the globe earthers have no arguments none look up the black swan photo that throws their entire ball earth out the window It, they're lying to us about space, people, and there is no space because we have a pressurized gas atmosphere. We have to have a container. Look up pressurized gas and what it takes to have pressurized gas, people, and it will tell you you have to have a container, which is the firmament, which they cannot get past, which they cannot go to the space. There are no other planets. There isn't even a planet you're on. So, once this stuff, once you figure out the truth, people, then you got to ask, where is $1.2 billion a month that we give to NASA going? Then there's another question you got to ask yourself, people. Why is it we give billions of dollars a year in taxpayer money to countries that want us dead? Why is it that our government gives it? And I guarantee you, I don't know how many countries we give money to, but it's quite a few. You got to ask yourself, why do we do that, folks? Why do we do that, folks? Why does our government pay these smaller countries off? Do you think it might be because they know there's no space and all these other countries that know there ain't no space have to be paid off to keep their mouth shut? Who's the only three countries that claim to even be able to go to space? China, Russia, and, and, and uh, America. Only ones that claim to that go to space. Now, there's more than that. I think there's like 25 countries that have space agencies. But there's only three of them that claim they can go there. Um, you don't think these people are paying these other countries to keep their mouths shut so they can keep this brainwashed bullshit rolling? You bet your ass, folks. You bet your ass, that's why. If that money flow was to be cut off from these other countries, these other countries would start spewing the truth in a second. That's how they keep their mouth shut. That's why they need a currency that doesn't isn't backed by anything, and they can print it up. All they need is printing machines to print it. And that's your American dollar, people. Well, that's my rant for today, folks. Like I said, Shout out to Nathan Oakley and the Flat Earth Debate. If you want to know the truth about this thing we're floating around on we call Earth, you'll get more of it out of him than you will out of anywhere else on the, uh, in the Internet. But uh, may God bless us all because we're going to need it, people. Good day.